Welcome back to Snacks and Facts, Snack Size History, and this thing that I'm gonna eat. <laughs> History, we have a curious little robot, a female computer scientist, and lightning. Today's snack is a Mars bar because it is a NASA Curiosity rover's Mars landing anniversary. Sure, Mars bars aren't named after Mars, but after Forrest Mars, a candy maker who made the bar in 1932. But I think you just wanted an excuse to eat chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Oh. The Curiosity rover launched in November 26, 2011 and landed in the Gale Crater on Mars on 5.17.57 Universal Coordinated Time on August 6, 2012. For the US, that's the 5th, but, but and for Australia, that's the 6th. Monday. By the time this is the 7th. In space, no one can tell the time. That's not factually accurate. Oh. The Curiosity named its landing site after the great sci-fi novelist Ray Bradbury. The Curiosity's main goals are to determine whether Mars ever supported life, to study the climate and the geology of Mars, and what role water played in the planet's history. <sighs> but the Curiosity isn't alone. It gets to communicate with the European Space Agency's Mars Express orbiter, where it transmits its data for the ESA and NASA via an antenna in Australia. We just like to be included. I don't like caramel. I hate caramel. Caramel. The Mars Express used the ground penetrating radar instrument Marsus lately to find a 20 kilometer wide subsurface lake near Mars's South Pole. This is exciting because wherever there is water, there is the opportunity for life. So happy landing day, Curiosity, and I hope we hear from your older cousin opportunity soon. It's so sad. Happy birthday to Radia Cousseau. Radia Cousseau was a French computer scientist who co-invented with her husband cute abstract interpretation, which is a theory of sound approximation and mathematical structures, in particular those involved in the behavior of computer systems. Do I understand what that means? No. Do I still have trouble calculating percentages? Yes. Should I go to the gym more? Maybe. Does that mean that Radia is invaluable to me? Hell no. It's always awesome to look to women in IT history who have helped shape the technology that affects us all in one way or another today, such as in transportation, space, and the medical software industry. Have you ever taken a flight on an A340 or watched the International Space Station cross the sky? Some of Cousseau's work has been involved in the safe operation of those things. Georg Wilhelm Richmond was a Baltic German physicist who proved, very unfortunately, that thunderclouds do contain electric charge. On this day in 1753, Richmond heard thunder and raced home to create an experiment proposed by Benjamin Franklin. It's weird to realize that lightning being electricity was something that once had to be determined. Richmond had already made contributions to physics and studied atmospheric electricity at the Imperial Academy of Sciences in St. Petersburg and was keen to try the experiment himself. In Michael Brian Schiffer's book, An Electric World, he describes the event. Upon the roof of his house, he had placed an iron rod to which attached a brass trade uh, leading to a... Hmm. <sighs> Oh, what? Fast forward. While Richmond leaned forward towards his apparatus so as to get a better look at the feeble charge indicated on the electrometer, a mighty bolt of lightning struck nearby. A ball of blue fire jumped from the prime conductor to the scientist's bowed head, knocked him back, and exited through his shoe, killing him. This could have been prevented if Richmond's equipment had been connected to the ground and not just in his house. However, his death helped Franklin confirm his doctrine of lightning. Oh yeah, it is definitely electricity. Hmm. I don't think Franklin talks like that. And Joseph Priestley, who I celebrated in our first episode of Snacks and Facts, wrote of Richmond, not every scientist was fortunate enough to die so gloriously. Hmm. So how was your day? Thank you so much for watching today's episode of Snacks and Facts. We have one more video for you and then you can expect a video every Wednesday at 2 p.m. Pacific time. Please feel free to check out our community page on YouTube to see questions about what you liked and to give feedback about the show. Aww.